This is a Game Caviar production. All right, now I have it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm playing uh, Call of Duty. I decided to play some Modern Warfare 3. I started playing my Xbox, and uh, I don't have Black Ops 2 on the Xbox, on the 360. And I was quite... I was so lazy. Like, I didn't want to get up and actually put a game into the Xbox. So I had... I remember I had Modern Warfare 3 downloaded onto the console so i figured i'd give it a spin it's been a while since i played modern warfare 3 I, I stopped playing it before black ops 2 came out and this was really my first couple days playing it and i decided to do a little pub stomping you know get online and pub stomp by myself because i'm a one-man army no I, I had a good match this is a team defender this is like my favorite uh, what is it my favorite game mode or whatever it's called uh, in Modern Warfare 3. You, you you fight over a flag. It's like capture the flag, but not as stupid. You fight over a flag. If you if your team has the flag, then you get double XP. And if the other team has the flag, you have to kill them and retrieve the flag so you can get uh, points. You know, you got to get points to win the game. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, uh, while I was talking about pub stomping, I was... Uh, I came across a video where guys were talking about pub stomping, getting into. I was like, "What the hell is pub stomping? What the hell does that mean?" Like, I'm, I don't, I don't know these terms. I just played a video game, and I, you know, I just kill just plentiful amounts of people because I'm, I'm just good like that. But no, but anyway, pub stomping. I googled it. Is it basically is just you get into a public, um, uh, like a server. Like you just go online with yourself or a team. Probably just with a team would be better, and you just beat the ever-living shit out of the other team that's what pub stomping is so if you see these guys who have they're they're uh they're in a on a team and you know they're all in their own team and they team up against random people on the opposite team and they absolutely slaughter them that's what you would consider pub stomping this what i did right here was kind of like pub stomping you know but it's just me by myself because i'm just I love this game mode, so I excel at it. I'm using an M16, and uh, the gun is really it got it kind of it got the short end of the stick. Uh, I think the M16 is better than the uh, type uh, whatever the fuck the other the, the gun is that everybody was like, oh my god, this gun is so amazing. And uh, look at what look at this guy. Where'd this guy come from? All of a sudden, I, I pop my EMP, and then I'm getting sniped in the head. Uh, this game is really notorious for the all of a sudden like it has it runs off the all of a sudden game engine Where you're running along and then all of a sudden there's a person there and boom you're dead um, What what the hell was I talking about the type type 95? I think that's what it was called. I Don't really know anymore because I don't really give a shit about that gun I like the m16 and that's what I roll with I, I mean I could use the type 95 too I remember if you had the type 95 and you put steady aim on it it was damn near like a shotgun like you it was so it was so accurate from hip firing with steady aim on that it was it was you couldn't beat it and i don't i don't think the m16 got the same love that the uh type 95 got uh that was just pretty piss poor shooting right there i will ima uh, uh, not imagine it i will admit that and i'm running the uh i guess this is a support it's not spe specialist is the one with the perks, right? Yeah, this is support. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it just adds to my legend. Pup stomping by myself. I'm using support because I want my scrub ass teammates to be on my same level. No, that's not me. I'm using, I, I'm use, I really should use assault with this class because I'm doing pretty well with it. I've gotten used to the M16 and how it works. We've become one. We bonded. I put the M16 in my hand and, you know, we just became one. No, it's just, you get used to it. I know I do. I get used to the three-round burst and it's very accurate. I will say that the three-round burst makes it extremely accurate. Uh, I wish they had incorporated the uh, select fire. That would be awesome in this game, you know, kind of like how Black Ops 2 just got it in their game. You know, it's 2012. Probably should add some of this. Probably should have added it into the game a while ago. I'm just saying. It's just, you know, is that too much to ask for? Since they can't give us dedicated servers, can they at least give us a select fire in the next Modern Warfare? Maybe. I don't know. It's coming out next year. 
They probably already started working on it. They should probably act. I mean, they should honestly. I think they should set up a website where they're like, "Fans, here's the here's the deal. We're gonna allow you to." And PlayStation does this too, where they allow the fans to say an idea. Like the the first, I, I guarantee, I guarantee fucking to you, I can bet money on it. The first idea would be dedicated servers, and then other fans would come and they would vote positive or negative towards the, those ideas. And the ideas are that are up at the top. Are the ones that the company works on and in this case they would include it into the game if they're feasible nobody's gonna be uh, I, I hope nobody asks for you know state puff marshmallow man mode or anything but anyway this is modern warfare 3 wow if this is blowing your mind then i totally understand but anyway i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more